welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk, to talk about uh, sweet perfumes, sweet and enveloping perfumes, uh, gourmands, and basically the fragrances that are both sweet, uh, sweet, yeah, sweet and enveloping. So if, if you are interested, what I have chosen for you, please uh, keep on watching. And of course, please subscribe to my channel activate the notification bell and please leave a comment for me it will be very nice of you if you do so and now let's jump right in into the today's topic so i have chosen quite a few fragrances that caught my nose so to say um I like sweet fragrances, I like gourmands, but I don't like them to be too sweet, too overwhelming and too sugary. So I have chosen here my favorites that are not like that. And of course, I will show it, show them to you. And of course, please tell me whether you like it or, or what do you recommend for me to try. That is not too sweet, but it's suitable for the colder weather, gives you comfort and gives you this nice sweet sillage, but not to, you know, not to choke anyone and yourself included. So, okay, so let's start with something I have shown you already. And this is my discovery of the year, I would say actually discovery of the end of the year but still Nishane Ani this one I really like it is sweet it is vanillic and it is um, quite a bit lactonic I would even say um, it's very very unisex so we have here vanilla we have here lemon bergamot uh, we have ginger we have cardamom and everything is so enveloping and so sweet but so sweet in the way I like so it's not too sweet it's not sweetness that causes a toothache or anything like that so this one is perfect and this one is perfect for uh, pre-Christmas season for me it's um, in my mind I have the connotation of uh, Christmas preparations, something like that, holiday season. So Nishane Ani is perfect. Of course, you can wear those all of those all those fragrances. I will show you all year round. But for me, I have this association for now with Nishane Ani. So this one is very unique vanilla, very unique citrusy vanilla scent basically so this is Nishane Ani another one I did sampled a while ago and is Zerja Lira so this one is very very well known so I won't be wasting your time and my time talking about it but I just wanted to let you know that this is in the similar similar realm if you want to compare it with Ani for example Zerja Lira is much sweeter and it's much like um dough it's more doughy I would say it's like typical vanilla vanilla lemon cake but still it's really really nice I really like to smell like vanilla and lemon cake so yes that's that's a nice thing for me if you cannot afford uh, Zerja Flira I do not have this perfume in my collection obviously you can also choose uh, Al Rehab uh, oil yeah Al Rehab oil I believe and it's called soft it also has vanillic notes and lemon notes, so maybe it will satisfy you as well. Just, just you know, just to give you a heads up. And now both fragrances from BDK. Mm, here I have small samples, but they are these are very very strong fragrances. You don't need much to you to for people to smell you basically. So here I have first one is roof smoking from BDK of course and this one is for cher cherry lovers but you need to be cherry lover who likes something smoky in it you know it's but it's very very sweet for me it's boozy cherry with um slight smoky undertone and this one is very very sweet so you have to watch out but it's not again overwhelming sweetness so you'll be fine with it but you need to like cherry and you need to like slight smokiness i think if it would be a straight up cherry it wouldn't be so um, it wouldn't be so interesting it's interesting the smokiness give it gives it something interesting yeah i'm repeating myself okay so rouge smoking is quite interesting but i won't be investing in a full bottle but if you like cherry as i said you can 
check it out. And another one, oh, this one, this one I would like to have in my collection. Basically, we're smoking as well, you know. If I would have some spare money, I would I would be buying it because it has nice color of the juice, which is red and has a really nice bottle. I really love it. But Velvet Tonka is the one I prefer the most from the two. Oh my God. You know, I need to mention that I'm completely obsessed with Tonka this year. I mean, I, this year I have discovered my love for Tonka Note. So, oh my God, I even bought real Tonka beans to compare the fragrance, you know, with the perf perfumes I like. And I'm really impressed because real Tonka beans are just, this is the fragrance basically of a, of a perfume, you know, this is a fragrance of a perfume and I really like it. So here we have very, very prominent Tonka note. I know because I have compared it with Tonka bean. It's so nice. It's a powdery tonka with some floral touches, almondy, vanillic, but you know, it's so, it's so, it's so, it has so many layers, you know, so nice, so enveloping. And I discovered that if you've got in, a, if, if, if in the perfumes, you've got very prominent tonka note, they are very elegant, at least for me. It's like a sugary elegance, not sugary like you have spilled the syrup on yourself and you're sticky and you don't feel good. I hate this feeling. No, it's like sugary, but it's very unique and very elegant, very poised, you know. Oh my God, I really love this fragrance. Uh, I will tell you uh, also here in this... Um, um, in this uh, in this video, oh my god, I'm starting to ramble again. I will tell you about similar fragrance, which is a little bit cheaper than Velvet Tonka, so please stay with me, but this one is really nice. Another one I have a full bottle of this time. Uh, it's Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal. It's the original version, basically. It's not a flanker. It's the first version. I really do love it. I know some people cannot stand the smell, but I really do love it because I love orange flower and here is plenty of it. So it's so nice. It's basically orange blossom. Orange blossom. I mean, I meant to say orange blossom. Orange blossom plus some honey and patchouli and everything is so strong, so boozy as well, so lavish, so lush, you know, so sexy at the same time. It's really nice. It's sillage is amazing. It's lasting power as well. And I really appreciate it in perfumes. It doesn't fall flat on my skin at any stage because, you know, at any stage. Yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, so it's so nice. And it's instant mood lifter for me. I feel really good after I wear it. So when I wear it and after I wear it, so it had to be here. Another one is the fragrance I had, but I sold it. But I want to recommend if someone likes cacao note and uh, churchy incense. And for me, the case was I love churchy incense, like the typical one burned in stone church. I love the smell and connotation it gives me, but I do not quite like ca ca cacao pot, pot um, smell, basically. I do not like chocolate greedy from Montal. For me, it's a horrible scent. Sorry if someone likes it, but I do, do not, I cannot stand the smell. So in Bohemian Oud, everything would be fine if you would just leave out no, if you would, if you would just leave, you know, this churchy incense, yeah, and remove the cacao note. But there was too much cacao for me. I couldn't, I didn't feel good with that. I felt sticky basically wearing that. But if you like cacao note and churchy incense, this one is for you. And I know on some people it doesn't pull so cacao forward. So yeah, you can, you may want to try it if you like, and if you like, you know, unusual gourmands, it might be your gem, so you can try it. Uh, another one is the one I really like, and it's quite popular on YouTube already for a couple of years now, I believe. Ariana Grande Cloud. This one I won't be discussing too much because everyone knows it. Basically, it's slightly, it has slightly, you know, Baccarat Rougey note. 
and it has coconut and this coconut basically is very airy so this is airy coconut for me coconut milk but like in a body balm form something like that like body balm coconut milk made it airy you know make it airy so it's it's really nice i really like it and i have an impression that the more it you know macerates and the more the longest the long time how to say it you know how to say it the longest you have it the the juice gets more potent i hope i said it right so ariana grande cloud for me it's a keeper for sure another fragrance i have uh, this is a small decant of 10 ml uh, it's jean paul gaultier uh, yeah jean paul gaultier classic pinup and basically if you are looking for um some perfumes that are that are almost a clone of Killian Love Don't Be Shy. This is the one. And this one I even prefer to Love Don't Be Shy because, because it's not so sweet, you know? Don't Be Shy, it's too, too sugary for my taste. Too strong, too sweet. I like strong perfumes, of course, but that one pulls slightly too sweet for me. This one, Pin Up, is better it's more like this orange blossom which with marshmallow yes but i do feel here more this orange blossom it's better in that realm so yeah you may want to try it and it's much cheaper than love don't be shy and i get the impression that not many people is talking about it so i'm letting you know that this one is worth to try basically so that was um that was Jean-Paul Gaultier's pinup. Uh, another one, I have tested it. I have a sample. It's Tio Cabanel, Cafe Cabanel. I do not also like typical coffee scents because I, again, feel like I would spill coffee on myself and I don't feel... I do not like this uh, impression as well, as well as uh, with sugar notes, cacao notes. It's not for me. Uh, Caros and Follow, for example, for me, pulls too coffee-ish. I love to drink coffee. I'm a coffee addict, I can say, but I do not like typically coffee fragrances when it comes to perfumes. But here in Café Cabanel, everything is done so meticulously. It's all balanced. It's like only a slight um touch of cappuccino in there you have lots of creamy notes and buttery notes you have some flowers it's like a milky sweet cappuccino but not too not that much as a coffee so i really like it and it's really enveloping you also have some benzoin in the base so it makes you feel warm it makes you feel nice it makes you feel comforted so it's it was Theo Cabanel Cafe Cabanel another one I really like we are going from coffee to tea and uh, here I have Killian I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess so this is basically long story short princess from Killian and basically for me it's a green tea with marshmallows so comforting so sweet but not again overly sweet I really like it. It's like green tea with marshmallow. It's like comfort drink, you know. It doesn't last very long, I must admit, but I really like it. And I have this one because I have here small 10 ml. I also have this one in oil form uh, from Generic Perfumes. This is a company that creates tubes, basically, and that one lasts longer and it's really true to the original. So I'm very impressed. And I, if I use uh, Princess, I just, you know, layer the both. First, I put on the oil and then I spray this one just to, you know, keep it around me. And it's very, very nice, very calming, very comforting. It's a perfect scent, you know, for staying at home, Netflix and chill, stuff like, stuff like that. But if you feel cold anyways, you are going out and you feel cold, you need some comfort, that would be the perfect choice. So Princess from Killian, I know they were talked about, they were talking about, you know, discontinuing this one, but it turned out that apparently the brand made a uh, rebranding, basically. So they should be back. Mm, okay, another one. 
Another one is not that typical of a vanilla, but it's really worth mentioning. I believe that not many people is talking about it currently. Of course, you can find many uh, videos about it, but currently it's not that hyped. I want to show you the fragrances that are not that hyped as well, because they are still worth mentioning. And this is La Lique Le Parfum, and this one is a vanilla bay leaf tonka bean as well, which I love. It's so unique. If for me, it's a unisex vanilla. This is like dry vanilla, so to speak. It's not too sweet, but some people are saying that it is too sweet for them. For me, it's not too sweet. For me, it's very, very unique. Uh, vanilla with some, I would even say green notes. This bay leaf keeps it all in, you know, keeps it all in order from, you know, it prevents it from being too sweet, too overwhelming. So this one is very, very unique. I like it. I love it. It is perfect for the sweater, for the shawl you have. It's so, so nice in a cold weather. So for sure you will get the enveloping feeling from it. Okay, another fragrance. I didn't get my sample here, but I still do have it and I still use it from time to time. And I'm wondering about getting my bottle because it's already been discussed in my previous videos. Uh, it's Room 1015 Cherry Punk. Oh my God, this one is so unique. This is cherry with leather. Basically, it's a very good quality leather jacket with cherries on top that's what i can that's how i can how, how i can describe it also it gives me slight cigarette vibes you know like tobacco vibes something like that almondy touches cherry touches it has tonka bean as well so tonka um, gives out this almondy touches and cherry touches it just underlines the composition and makes it very very unique very unique cherry i'm not fan of a cherry note myself so much but after testing this one I would be interesting to try other cherry fragrances but they have to have something more to them and cherry punk it surely has something to it so I really like it another one and another from Jean Paul Gaultier uh, here I also have 10 ml decans you know I have decans because I have so many perfume that I don't see any point of having like big bottles you know I'm always on the hunt for something new and stuff like that so I have ton of samples ton of 10 mls and you know but what counts is a smell and that I can test it so Jean Paul Gaultier uh, La Belle Le Parfum Intense, so is the second version of, of course, classic Le Parfum. It's also cherry, and this cherry I really like, and tonka bean, of course. I love tonka bean, as you <laughs> haven't noticed in, based on this video. It has vanilla and ha it has other notes that are not mentioned on, fr mentioned on Fragrantica, at least. I really like, like it, and this one is very elegant, mature fragrance. For me, it's like special occasion, but I, of course, wear it every day. Not a problem for me. Elegant, comforting. I really like it as well. So if you like cherry, if you get like tonka bean, you may want to try it, but it's not for everyone. I must say that I saw lots of polarizing opinions, so you need to try for yourself, but I do recommend uh, La Belle Parfum Intense. Another one mm, is Floral Street, Ilang Ilang Espresso, and this one is unique. I don't recall if I have mentioned it on this channel, channel or in my Polish channel. I for sure have a video on the Polish channel about this scent uh, solo, so to speak, and I also mention it many times, but I'm not sure if I've mentioned here. If I didn't, I do it now. Uh, it's basically a coffee scent as well, but not that coffee, typical coffee that you spilled on yourself. It's just a coffee cloud, something like that, like coffee puff. You, the whiff of coffee you're getting when you were entering coffee shop, and this coffee shop here is the old coffee shop, you know, with old furniture, something even like slightly rotten in the background. Don't let it put you off what, of what, I, what I'm saying. No, it's not like rotten things and uh, everything that's disgusting. You have patchouli here, so maybe it gives a little bit of 
you know, this basement feel to it, but I really like this basement patchouli, you know, this murky one. And here we have slight, uh, uh, slight touches of it. I really like it. You have tiramisu note here, but it's not too sweet. You have, of course, coffee, but it's not too sweet, not too coffee-ish. You have rose and you have oud. It's really, really unique. It warms you up. It's boozy as well. It's like coffee, rose, liquor, something like that, with also woody touches. You need to try it. It warms you up. It's it's you know it works like an like an espresso like an, like an espresso in the in the colder weather so you need to try it it's really really good and it's not that expensive as you know as we consider and compare it to the old to you know the other niche fragrances that's what i wanted to say another one uh, which I really love and I discovered it that I discovered the scent this year basically it's Coriter no mystic sugar I also here have only a sample I was thinking about my uh, own bottle but you know I have uh, a wish list that is so long that I don't know uh, when will I buy it all but uh, we'll see but mystic sugar from Coriterno I believe it's not that much talked about and it's not hyped at all I don't know why this one is amazing this one is amazing this one is like a perfect biscuit with some orange with some sugar with some spices cinnamon clove eaten in the church that's what i have in mind when i when i smell this fragrance but it's words don't do justice to this smell it's not overly sweet it's amazing it's enveloping it's ambery it's warm it's sweet it's very mysterious that's what i say it's like a mysterious cookie you know if you want to smell like mysterious cookie just you need to try Coriterno Mystic Sugar. I think that people should be raving about it and no one is talking about it, even from the YouTubers I watch, very popular perfume YouTubers from the world in general. Almost no one is talking about it. Why? I want people start to talk about it. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's if you like gourmands, if you like your gourmands to be mysterious, that one is for you it's a mystical experience you know this perfume and the last one i do not have it here but i have like two samples and i just spray it before um shooting this video because this is my fragrance of the day and it's my it's getting my it's getting my new obsession i would say it's commodity milk I combined today uh, milk from the Expressive line with milk from Bold line because I have both of the samples. Oh my god, this one really stays true to real tonka bean smell. So I really appreciate it. And this is the smell I was mentioning is very, very similar to BDK Velvet Tonka. Velvet Tonka is more powdery, more flowery. But still it has this note of tonka bean that is very, very prominent. Oh my God, I really love it. It's, it's sillage, it's beyond, it's, it's out of this world. And oh my God, the feeling it gives me, it's warm, it's sweet, but it's spicy at the same time, time almondy, spicy, a little bit even peppery, marshmallowy. This is so unique and so multi-layered as well. Oh, this is a perfect one for the cold weather and it's perfect winter gourmand sweetness. So this one is so unique as well. I love unique scents, as you may say, uh, based on this video. Okay, so let me know. This this is uh, finished for now. So let me know how what are your types uh, of unique winter gourmands because that's what I like the most. Let me know what are you using currently. I hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>